Oh, hello. Oh, I don't have the light on. Let me turn the light on. <clears throat> that's nicer, isn't it? Oh, that's nicer. Um, greetings. Good to see you. I didn't really do all the production things. Isn't that nice now? The lights are on. We're happening. Cooking with gas. I don't think we're supposed to be cooking with gas anymore, but I'm doing it. <clears throat> I'm cooking with gas. Now, that's the metaphor I'm using. Having a nice little sip of the coffee. Delicious facing the day. I feel like today I may have uh, gone for a little bit more coffee than I should have been going for. But uh, um, still feeling good. Dave, greetings to you, sir. Welcome aboard. Uh, I'm noticing, you know, nowadays it takes a little longer for people to get on board. Making some progress on the getting, making some progress, getting ready, posting the videos on the reels, on the Insta, on the YouTube. YouTube shorties. Um, I think I'm getting ready to do that. Ah, oh, Julie, good to see you and thank you so much. I will always be cooking with gas. Um, so um, making some progress on that. <laughs> and I'm going to post that first blog post. I'm going to post that first blog post. Um, I have my notes, very small tweak. I'm going to do that, put that up on the sub stack. Maybe I'll put a thing in the group about how to subscribe to that if I can figure out how to do that. Daylight savings time starts on Sunday. There's a nice public service announcement from our friend Rachel right in the comments. Jen is here. Jen, haven't seen, well, I guess I have seen you, but I uh, haven't seen you this early in the show as much lately. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Love seeing you out here. Yes, Calvin, good to see you too. I love seeing you. I, that's, what, that's what I'm doing here, seeing people. So long, a uh, hay pick. Good to see you. So long in the um, in the Varinus, first of all, the COVID Varinus, and then um, and then the cancer hole. With my wife went in the cancer hole, and I went in there with her. Um, but now we're out, getting ready to get to traveling again. Getting excited about my. <laughs> now I'm doing all those George George Bush Senior. Getting excited about going on the road. Coming to Cleveland, April first. Um, then I'm going to be coming to Minneapolis. I, God, I wish I could see the dates more clearly from here on the giant calendar, but I used the wrong pen this year. So I'm coming to Minneapolis, April 13th through 15th, Acme in Minneapolis, coming to the punchline in San Francisco, um, May 18th to 20th, coming to Denver, June 1 through 3 at that comedy works. That's when we're going to be doing Jake Fest, if I may even call it Jake Fest. Um, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> Dave told you it was on. Yeah, nobody gives anybody alerts anymore. I'm on, if you're just watching right now, Scott, hello. Um, right now, my schedule for this, uh, the daily briefing show is Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. California time. Jen needs some love from the group. She's having some rough days. Ah, oh, Jen, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and I'm scared to ask. So if you want to share details, you can, but uh, I'm scared to ask. She needs some love from the group. Everybody tell Jen that she's awesome because she is awesome and uh, show her some love. Man, these tough times, you go through the tough times. <laughs> you look for a wall at a glance calendar for, for this year. No luck. Scott, are you kidding me? I've got, I've got one. I got two of them. But the one I've got up here, I, it's one where you write the numbers on yourself. And I used a different uh, Sharpie type thing to so, where so I can't see. It's got to be a dry erase Sharpie because otherwise I can't, uh, I can't use it next year. Um, I don't want you to cry. I'm not crying, Jen. You're crying. I, no, wait, you're not crying. I'm, you're crying? I'm not crying? I can't remember. That go, there's a joke thing of that. Trina, Minneapolis on your birthday. Yes. Oh, your birthday? That's your birthday? Um, well, good. I'll see you on your birthday then, or thereabouts. Um, Eric, sending some love to Jen. Everybody loves you, Jen. I mean, I know that sometimes it feels like somebody doesn't love you, but it's not everybody that doesn't love you. It's only some people. F those A's right in their hole. Um, that's a little bit naughty. Um, but you got to get consent before you do that nowadays. Well, really, you always did. Oh, I'm in trouble already. 
Hope I'm not going to get canceled on this Monday, you know, or Tuesday. <laughs> I don't even know what day, though. I know what day. That I already told you that uh, here we do the shows on Tuesdays and Fridays. And I know that this is a Tuesday. We used to do the children's Bible, but we're through that now. So now what we do, and I'm bending over out of the shot. I think I might be getting one of those 360 cameras. That's what I'm thinking about. But let's do a uh, animal spirit card draw an animal spirit card to get the uh, get the Tuesday started this is a good uh, this is good early in the week thing if you don't have this deck um, all it doesn't matter really what card you draw I think last week I drew the black egg I know I did because it's the bottom card on the deck so I'm gonna shuffle them if I get the black egg again that's a thing that can happen but all of these cards are good uh, oh Trina your birthday is April 15th that is interesting I guess I know I knew that um, but my dad's is April 16th. Happy birthday to my dad. Uh, Robert, uh, he can't get on as much lately because of work. Stupid job interfering with your entertainment. I know. That's the thing. Don't let, don't let your job interfere with your entertainment. Pretty soon, chat GPT is going to be doing all our jobs for us. Now, that'll leave us a lot of time uh, in the days remaining before we starve to death because we don't have any jobs and the government hasn't decided to take care of any human beings. And... Uh, all of our copyrights are going to go to whoever invented chat GPT or these other AIs, even though they learned how to do all their stuff from us. We taught them everything they know. And what do we get paid? Nothing. Um, full disclosure for fun, Jen has something called major depressive disorder. Oh, that sounds shizy. Uh, and a severe anxiety disorder. Oh, gosh, that you've had for decades, it's been well managed by medication in these years. Uh, not so much now leave of absence working through it i don't pity you jen i don't pity you jen um i i i love you and i well i mean as much as you can love a friend that you made on the internet but i care about you and i do think you're very funny and i know that a lot of people here do care about you just to give you a little bit of a <laughs> pep talk come on the internet get a little pep talk talk from one of your one of your comedian friends um I know a lot of people care about you, and I know uh, from with my my daughter dealing with her and <clears throat> the depression and the anxiety that she was suffering. It's a it's it's real, uh, it's real, and it's a it's a challenge. But it is a challenge. It's not it's not a thing that you, you're you're separate from it. It's it's something that's separate from you and who you are. So you're struggling with it. I know that, and I know it's real, and I know it's terrible. But I also believe that uh, you'll come out the other side of it feeling great. Um, or at least pretty good. Or at least we'll laugh together again sometime. Is there a children's Grey Anatomy? That'd be fun. Oh, God, Scott, that would be fun. Please, if anybody wants to go on Amazon, get me the children's Grey Anatom Grey's Anatomy. Um, anatomy for dummies? <laughs> I don't. We could be in a lot of trouble here. Do I still have children's books from when my daughter was little? Those might be fun. I do have some children's. I had children's books from when I was little, and I think I got rid of those. My mom had saved them, and then uh, our daughter liked some of them, but some of, some of them were so, like, there was just weird, socially wrong stuff. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, children's books. I, I, yeah, I'll have to get into it. I tried to find a children's Koran. But uh, that seemed like it was going to be problematic, and so I bailed on that. I had that idea, and then I didn't even express it aloud, aloud before I dismissed it. Um, uh, Eric, you're saying therapy saved your life. You strongly encourage, yes. <laughs> you need to smoke some weed and you'll be fine. Jen, well, that's some old school thinking there. Uh, if it works for you, I'm not going to fight it, but I have to say, <laughs> might be, be careful. Because uh, that can take you down, and I agree with Eric. Ch therapy, get get a professional. Talk to a professional. Um, all right, um, <laughs> just like plastic surgery, I recommend that you have it pro professionally done. Um, it's time for our animal spirit card. Maybe this maybe this will be helpful. <laughs> can I minimize all of our problems into this, just this deck of beautiful cards? Uh, I these are really these are really great. And like I said. Um, it, uh, I draw this one and then we can all focus on one because it's just something to focus on for the week coming up. Oh, the sea serpent. Today's card is the sea serpent. And I'm going to put that on the bottom so we'll know next week. This week we got the sea serpent. So 
The great thing about these cards, and I would encourage you to pick up a deck for yourself if you're looking for something to give you, give you a little bit of kind of personal growth focus thing to do. Um, <laughs> I can't wait for our giant hugs. Boy, that's going to happen. So the sea serpent is one of the ones in the back. It's like the black egg. The sea serpent comes in the back. And, uh, and these are the ones, these are, these are big ones. Um, so last week was the black egg and this week is the sea serpent. Let's get in here. Where is it? The sea serpent, the sea serpent, healing, emotional wounds, expressing desires. Well, this is a good one for today in light of what we're talking about. The sea serpent represents the energy of expression, whether it's emotions, creativity, sensuality, or desire. The sea serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current. And that's where you want to be. You want to be right in that healthy current. And then when you feel that, take a nice sip of your coffee. Mm. You don't have to make a slurping sound, but it helps other people enjoy it. And they know what you're doing. Um, uh, when, when the essence of this card is in balance, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment. Oh, my Lord, the grip of self-judgment. you got to loosen that. <laughs> loosen your grip of self-judgment. In fact, stop judging yourself and don't worry about other people. Those that matter don't judge, and those that judge don't matter. Uh, the grip of self-judgment. And let the cool waters of forgiveness, boy, those sound good, loosen the grip of self-judgment and let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our lives and in other places it floods. It's important to remember, no matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same like a mother. She wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection and support. She supports us as we learn to express our true nature. So get out there and express your true nature. That's what I'm going to try and do. Um, uh, and then there's some stuff about chakras in here, but I don't know about that. Um, I don't, I don't know if that, uh, that probably applies to us, but, uh, that's beyond the, that's beyond the scope of a Tuesday right now. Um, Scott, uh, uh, <laughs> Dave said whiskey and weed would help. Well, he may be right. Whatever, whatever works. Um, sunshine conversation and weed <laughs> could recommend that last for my teen grand son in the pandemic distance took a greater toll on all of us than we know it did scott this this pandemic this this uh, absence of the personal connections that we we really thrive on to, to lose those lose those and have them taken away um wasn't good pick loosening your grip of self-judgment posting to help you remember yeah loosen your grip of self-judgment oh my god that self-judgment grip once that gets a hold of you, it's it, the grip can be tight, constricting. Um, <laughs> eight six seven five three zero oh, nine, nice. Um, <laughs> if that's your phone number, Jen, I feel like you really made a little bit of a mistake posting it. But uh, okay. Um, <laughs> if you're not Dave, Rachel, or other regulars, don't call. It'd be weird. Jen, yes. Well, I think that you've thought that through. But I w in the future, anyone wanting to post their number should do that in the private group chat, uh, maybe. And uh, uh, I don't know how to help you in terms of... I, I think you could probably delete that. Um, no offense, but, but, but what are there, 30 people in here? There are, Jen, but there may be another 100 people who listen some other time. And it could be weird. In the Grand Budapest Hotel, the main character has a line about money left over after paying for whores and whiskey. So sometimes when I get paid, I tell my wife, 
they'll pay for some whores and whiskey. Fortunately, she hasn't kicked you out. Well, Eric, you're lucky. I never talk about whores or whiskey, really, with my wife. And so far, that's worked for us. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, whatever works for you. Um, <coughs> What private group chat? It's not a group. It's in the group. It's in the group, Jen. Not the group chat, but it's in the group. Our private Facebook group. You have to be, that's a, less, there's, there's other people can't get in there if they're not already in there. Um, this thing, this internet part, this part of the internet is open to everybody. I do get that there's only 30 people or so here. Actually, my count right now says 14, which is not enough people. Um, and two just dropped off. <laughs> uh, anyway, we've had our we've had our card, the sea serpent. So that's got us that's got us ready for tomorrow. Uh, you're in business for the sea serpent. Um, Andrew's not here, so there's no sense in doing any um, snark right now. now. I know that that's not true. We can do snark whenever we want. How about a quip or two twenty thousand quips or quotes? Um, there's no better lawn than the one which shows a narrow path worn in the direction of neighbors. Uh, I don't know if I was ready to change. Oh, wait, optimism. Optimism, pessimism. Here's some optimism, pessimism quotes. Um, how about that? Yeah, <laughs> you're rich. Your cat walked across your iPad and closed the window. These things can happen. Um, oh, a little scratchy. All right, here we go. Optimism, pessimism. In time of trouble, the pessimist gets more pleasure out of his pessimism than the optimist out of his optimism. Now, you know, I hate to argue with quips, <laughs> but uh, if I got to choose between optimism and pessimism, I get it. I get it. I, I get it when you think that pessimism is the way to go because you're not getting disappointed. You're pessimistic. Often it's much more funny to be uh, pessimistic than it is to be optimistic. But you personally can suffer. As long as you're, you're clear on your pessimism is purely for joke purposes, pessimism definitely, uh, comedy-wise, better than optimism. But um, that's not to say that optimism can't be funny. In fact, you turn that up to about 11 or 12, it gets pretty funny. And also, it's a better way to go through life optimistic rather than pessimistic, in my opinion. And I've tried them both. And in fact, I've tried pe pe pessimism a lot harder. I've really tested that one out. It's not for me. I don't really like it. I see its appeal. Love is responsible for most of the optimists and marriage for most of the pessimists. Now, there's some, there's some classic um, century-old uh snark about marriage now i don't think that that's true uh the problem with marriage is that there's another person involved and uh that's all the great also the great thing about it because really you kind of want to share your life you kind of want to find somebody who understands you and can share in your triumphs and troubles and at least when you're telling your pessimistic outlook hopefully they can laugh a little bit, but the other problem, but the problem with it is they, they've got trials and troubles and then you got to listen to them instead of descending into your own trials and troubles. And that's kind of a pain in your ass because, uh, look, <laughs> I want it to just be about me all the time. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, but if you're going to have a relationship, it can't just be about you all the time. And, uh, that's the good part. And also the pain in the ass part of it because it's not about you all the time. Uh, so one of the nice things about this show, from my point of view, is it's sort of about me all the time, but also I get to experience you guys and have an amount of that in there that's satisfying to myself. So thank you for showing up. Incompetent, incompetent stand-up comic, Eric M. Take my wife, for example. Yeah, see, that's actually, yeah, exactly. Not only incompetent stand-up uh, stand comic, but... Uh, sort of semi-redundant comic. Robert Carlson, your case, you're right. Another person was involved, was. <laughs> yeah, right. I get it. Marriage, it's not, it's not for everybody all the time or the same two people forever, necessarily. I, I, 
I, I feel like uh, divorce, like what's the point of getting divorced now? My wife, Lady Jerry and I, we've been married 20 years, going on 21 this year, and uh, we love each other. <laughs> and whatever problems we have are problems that we would have with another person or a cat or a cardboard cutout of myself. If I was married to a cardboard cutout of myself, let's say... Let's say I got a chat GPT and I put it into a fart machine and then put it behind a cardboard cutout of myself. Um, I would have problems with that in a second, even though it just wants me to love it and do all the things it wants. Sue is here. Hello, Sue. Greetings. Good to see you. Um, sometimes, sometimes the thing there and the other thing here don't always match up, but uh, yes. It's good to see you. Welcome aboard. Where are we in the show right now? Let's take a look at the clock. Uh, it's not quite time, but it's almost time. Um, gosh, and I know I, after last Friday, I had said maybe we're not going to do another brain teaser, but uh, I can't resist. I can't help myself. I'm so in love with you. Uh, Death Snowman's got you thinking about Snake and Jake's getting geek for Jazz Fest. Scott, as a matter of fact, that Desk Snowman was giving to me by one of my jazz best friends, Mary Jo. Um, and it was because it reminded her of Snake and Jake's. That's why I have that snowman. So good sighting. You're on the mind meld. I've got my tickets to Jazz Fest. Um, I'm geeked for it. Hopefully I'm gonna see you down there. Um, Bob, all of this is why some guys have relationships with a blow up doll. Yeah, no, I get it. And that blow up doll is, the AI is gonna make that blow up doll so much nicer. But really, once once you're talking to a blow up doll and having kind of Alexa conversations back and forth, chat GPT conversations back and forth with a blow up doll and uh, and having sex with it, like, why not just get into that matrix jelly bulb and uh, and and live live that dream? Um, what flies when it's born, lies when it's alive and runs when it's dead? weather related um it's hard to listen to this and order uber eats you can't figure out what to what to feed the family and you can't concentrate yeah i get it i it's hard for me to do other things while i'm doing this also jen um a snowflake that's what flies when it's born lies when it's alive and runs when it's dead snowflake these are actually um not so clever but uh, sometimes somewhat um complicated riddles but they call them brain teasers. I guess that's another word for brain teasers. It's 46 year for you, this year for you and Mrs. Bob, Bob. Oh, yeah, you're getting tired of being her arm candy. <laughs> Tell me about it, bro. Um, <laughs> well, congratulations. A lot of guys can't make it 40 years into a marriage and still, and still be arm candy. Sorry, I got a little bit of nose business going wrong. Flavia coming into the show in the last 10 minutes. Hope all is well with everyone. All is pretty well with everyone, Flavia, but give Jen some Jen some love. She needs a little bit of love and support right now. And uh, give her a little bit of love. Uh, Jen, you want me to ask? Me? <laughs> hey, Mr. Predicto, you think Jen's going to feel better tomorrow? This, As we know, this can be dicey. Is Jen going to feel a little bit better tomorrow than she does today? It is a certainty. It's a certainty, Jen. Mr. Predicto coming through like he almost never does. But Jen, you're going to feel better tomorrow than you do today. Uh, Miss, so says Mr. Predicto. Uh, you couldn't type the answer in time because you were worried about Jen's Uber Eats. Oh, the snowflake thing. Well, that's okay. Everybody gets credit for winning today's. Uh, Laura, you're tuning in from a plane in Miami. Man, I met someone from Miami today <laughs> on, the, on the Microsoft Teams it uh, turns out uh, daddy, I don't really like to refer to myself as daddy, but it uh, turns out daddy might be getting a corporate job, and I'd be excited about that if that happens. Anyway, uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to see you all Friday for the Friday happy half hour. I'm going to be here for that. I hope you're going to be here for that, all uh, 17 of us. So it's time for seize the day. <coughs> so I'm going to seize the day. Today seize the day. Uh, and, uh, thank you, Rachel. I got your note. I'm going to keep that in time in in time in mind for, uh, 
for our uh, Jake Fest festivities. So today sees the day. Elbert Hubbard, not L. Ron Hubbard, Elbert Hubbard. Today sees the day is from Elbert Hubbard. Do your work with your whole heart and you will succeed. There's so little competition. Do your work with your whole heart and you will succeed. There's so little competition. Elbert, I, I feel like there's no ellipses in here, but what, what does that do your whole heart? There's so little competition. I do, I do get, do your work with your whole heart, yeah, and you will succeed. Well, I, I hope so. Uh, there's so little competition. Oh, Elbert's, Elbert Hubbard is a little bit of a dreamer, I have to say, but God love him. Um, perhaps seize the day shouldn't be initialized. Yes, Robert, perhaps not, but that's how we do it here at the Daily Briefing. Seize, seize the day, STD. That's what STD stands for, seize the day, here at the Daily Briefing. Everywhere else, sexually transmitted disease. Hmm. Look on the bright side. You can't get a sexually transmitted disease unless you're sexually active. So here's to all the winners out there who've, uh, who've managed to pull that one off. You did it. You did it. Remember a point in your life where your dream was to have sex with someone else. So look on that bright side. You're accomplishing that mission. Um, seize the day. You're a winner. Um, I hope you all have a terrific rest of the week until we meet again on Friday at 3 p.m. California time. Uh, Jen, I hope you're feeling better soon. Um, if not right now, short-term disability in Jen's case at the moment, Dave, you with the jokes. Is, are you on the boat right now? Are you, I'm on a boat. Uh, <clears throat> so Robert, you thought it was original. The best jokes are those jokes as you did completely unselfconsciously you put it out there and you got to a place where you've already been with the STD, but uh, you got to do those jokes. Don't, don't be down on yourself because everybody told you that we'd already done it. Still new to you, baby. It's new to you. Um, everybody have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. I'll see you all on Friday. Love to love you. Take care of yourselves, Jen. You take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And try and be nice to a jerk. I'm not talking about you, Jen, but try and be nice to a jerk. And last but not least, and this is to you, Jen, and anybody else who needs to hear it, don't give up. There'll be plenty of time to give up later. Trust me, I'm here all week and next week and the week after that until they ring the big bell and I go home for dinner. Oh, <laughs> uh, that go home for dinner. That's... That's my new euphemism for, uh, for dying. <laughs> Go home for dinner. All right. Peace out. Love to love you.